We're now going to go through meiosis specifically as it pertains to males within the testes, within the testes production of sperm. So if you're not clear on, on meiosis, go back and watch the other video. First I'm going to show you a simplified drawing, then I'm going to show you one that actually ties this in for uh, to what it, where it is happening within the testes, within the seminiferous tubules. So remember with meiosis, we start with a cell that is 2N. So in the seminiferous tubules of the testes at puberty, spermatogonia, 2N, kind of like stem cells of sperm, are going to go through mitosis and produce what is called primary spermatocyte. So we actually start out with the process of mitosis here. We end up with primary spermatocyte, which are still diploid, 2N, 46 chromosomes, two copies of each chromosome. Then, as we discussed, we'll go through meiosis 1, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and you end up with two primary spermatocytes. Two primary spermatocytes through the process of meiosis 1. They will then go through, these two cells go through meiosis 2, and you will end up with spermatids. Okay, four cells that have 23 chromosomes. Okay, four cells that have 23 chromosomes. These will then mature into spermatozoa or sperm. So nothing changes genetically here. They just develop the little flagella, the tails, okay, within the inner within the seminiferous tubules of the testes. From there, they will travel to the epididymis where they will mature. So type of questions, knowing how many chromosomes spermatogonia have, how many chromosomes primary spermatocytes have, knowing how many chromosomes spermatids have and spermatozoa have, knowing what process turns spermatogonia into primary spermatocytes, mitosis. Primary spermatocytes go through meiosis one to give secondary spermatocytes. Secondary spermatocytes go through meiosis II to get spermatids. All of this process is called spermatogenesis, formation of sperm. Going from spermatid to spermatozoa is spermiogenesis. Okay, is spermiogenesis. So chromosomes, number of chromosomes, not as much in primary spermatocytes, but in spermatogonia, primary, spermatids, spermatozoa. That knowing the process you go through to get to each of these. Okay, let's look at this now tied more closely to the anatomy. So within the testes you have seminiferous tubules and that's where the sperm are going to develop. We'll look at a picture of this or a slide of this in class. So on the outside of each of the seminiferous tubules are their spermatogonia. Okay which will then go through mitosis to give primary spermatocytes. Now what's going to happen as each of these steps happen, we get closer and closer to the lumen or the opening of the inner of the seminiferous tubules. Okay, I have the seminiferous tubules. So spermatogonia go through mitosis, primary spermatocytes. Primary spermatocytes go through meiosis one, secondary spermatocyte. Secondary spermatocytes go through meiosis II. You end up with the spermatid here and then it will mature into a spermatozoa within the lumen. So you can kind of think of them as little boats docked here, right, developing the flagella. From spermatid to spermatozoa is called spermiogenesis. From here the spermatozoa will then travel through the lumen to the epididymis where they will mature into sperm that can actually swim and fertilize an egg. So again, knowing location on this, basically I'm just going to ask you spermatogonia, okay. also spermatids and spermatozoa are here on the lumen. I won't ask you to distinguish between primary and secondary spermatocytes. Okay. All right, so that's the process of meiosis as it applies to the male. And I've also given you an idea of what type of questions you might get regarding the information. If you have any questions, let me know.